There he is. Hello, Miguelito. <laughs> we were just waiting for you. Yeah, you know, it's been almost three years since I know um, the 13th vessel. And I always like calling him by his... Uh, by his name, his name is Miguel, but I like to call him Miguelito because, because yes, because I say so. He helped me uh, a lot when I was working on the timeline, you know. Actually, uh, when we still, uh, when we started working together for the timeline, um, and I'm your Marquito, of course I am. <laughs> Um, correct me if I'm wrong, Miguelito. Uh, we, when you joined me, Disgustor, and the others for uh, my timeline videos, uh, you made, like, you created the textures for making the fire ring when uh, fighting Shion, uh, when fighting Axel, when playing as Shion, right? I wanted the fire ring of the Axel data fight uh, to be located in front of the Twilight Town mansion and I needed the sky and the grass uh, as a floor and you made the texture for the grass and the texture for the Twilight Town sky I think hey Tids yeah I'm I don't wanna mm, make my computer to make too much effort so I put I put it low for now. It's fine when I record from uh, console games though. Okay we can go word map. Let's go to Podrado. Of course, there is only one way to reach Quadrado. After Melody of Memory... My timeline to another language... It's not like I don't want to, it's just... Too much big of an effort of a work, so... Um, basically, they're just um, the same cutscenes we already know. Probably the only new part is all of the Union Cross uh, stuff, you know, so... If there is anyone who wants to translate um, all of the Union Cross part into another language, well, that's basically um, all you need for making a different language version of the timeline because all of the other Kingdom Hearts chapters are just the same. You would need any someone to uh, get the Spanish cutscenes, so to speak, and put them instead of the English ones. Not this. Uh, yeah, Miguelito, I'm pretty sure you, the, f the very first thing, oh, wow. <laughs> I didn't expect the sky to be, all of this to be like this. Wow, you, I can recognize your touch. I suppose we must go there. Oh. How the hell did you manage to do this? Man, I thought it was just like a portal, you select um, the option and you just teleport there. How the hell did you make this? I'm seriously impressed. Also, can you please warn me when the 8 minutes timer start? Uh, 
Okay, I suppose. You even put the information bar there. Okay, we don't have too much stuff. Too much time yet, so... Okay, this is pretty much well known now. I mean, this area. Man. Um, so yeah, the collision work. This is all part of Fertin Vessel work because he made this touchable. I can even, okay, I can work on the walls. <laughs> of course, this is. Wait. I need to take a picture with this. Of course. Man, it's just too big. Why would they make a map so big if you just if you can just see it from above a building? Yeah, the L2 and L2 button. Oh, wow. So whenever I, di I do this... Okay, I thought that pressing those buttons will just make you a little higher, but not as much. That's awesome. Can I go up there? Wait, I wanna... I wanna explore the streets. Because that's, that's where the details... Okay, I already lost myself. <laughs> Seriously, why would they make... Thanks. Nice to meet you. Hello, Shimi. Thank you for the follow. Like, even the lights here. You would barely look at them while fighting your Zora, so... There are too many details. This is... So, um, the first investor told me that even though it was something that Nomura said in an interview, they wanted to make a proper world in Remind, like a fully explorable world, probably similar to what they did in uh, the secret episode of Birth by Sleep. Which means that... They probably had plans to make Quadratum explorable as a complete world. And then after you are done with the exploration, you would meet Yozora. Yeah. They probably didn't want to include it and just save this for the next game. Because I wouldn't I wouldn't know how to explain why they would put so many details. I mean I feel bad for those who programmed all of this were made so many things you can't even look at while fighting a Zora. Oh, there's even There is such a big amount of work here, because you know you must um, consider that most of the things I'm touching here had no collision at all. That is something that uh, First Investor made so we could actually walk on them 
touch them. Wait, I lost count of the timer. I don't know how much time I have left. Supporting Princess, it's a mod, but <laughs> it's just so well made that it looks official. Even the trees. This needs to be explored with at your own pace. Like, seriously, why would they create these posters around? Okay, that's... Can I go here? Oh, I can't even go... The football field? Nope, I don't think I found it. The one that appears in the secret ending. Let's see if I can find it in time. I already went there, let's try here. I can feel the time ticking. Yeah, this is the original place where you fight Yuzora. It's been uh, scaled down to the proper proportion. That's something that uh, 13 Vessel... Uh, oh! Wait! <laughs> Is that a collectible or what? <laughs> no! I knew it! <laughs> hey, I found a collectible! If that's what I think it is. Man, you're such a bastard, Miguelito. Why would you... Oh, how many collectibles are there? There are seven collectibles to be f to be found in eight minutes. Basically, one collectible each minute. Well, I'm happy I found one. <laughs> okay, guys. I wanna take this ch this chance to um, congratulate with all of the modders since the PC version of Kingdom Hearts uh, was released. They achieved so much uh, in just a, a few months. I've been seeing Luceus mods as well and a lot of creators made an absolutely fantastic work. I'm so bad at modding <laughs> when I was making the timeline, I always had to ask for help. Um, but I can only imagine how much effort has been put into... Oh, okay, I can do another run. Okay, thank you. <laughs> I'm pretty sure everyone here <laughs> appreciates. How do I access? Oh, okay, I needed to touch the nameless star. Thank you, Miguelito. <laughs> Just 
filling your chat with hearts. I must say that a lot of big results were made in the for the PS4 version of, of Kingdom Hearts 3, even before the PC version was released. But when the game was released on PC, everyone got a lot more instruments to to work with, you know. Okay, Miguelito, let's look for that football field. That it's just uh, so big, you don't even know where to start from. Okay, now that I know there are, there are uh, hidden stars, uh, I'm even more motivated to look for them. Um, Miguelito, I, I suppose that... Okay, I gotta stop calling. Okay, I found... Is this the same one from before? Probably. Um, do I have to collect them? All of them? I mean, whenever I go back uh, to Quadratum, do I have to... Uh, collect them all at the, again. Yeah, just a curiosity, just to see if... Okay, now my eyes are working on those stars. <laughs> Hey, Sneakers, yeah, it's a mod made by the 13 Vessel. Oh, wow, this is the... Like, seriously, why would they make... Um, this desk here? I mean, I appreciate the effort from the, pro the programmers at Square Enix, but... Seriously. Why is this thing? I mean, no one is going to watch it. Why did it? <laughs> the amount of details is impressive. Um, yeah, sneakers, yeah, I was saying this is a mod made by the 13 Vessel. I put the link on all of this Twitter on, on the top left corner of the screen here. So make sure to follow him. He's going to probably he probably won't stop here and he's going to upload even more stuff like this. If he behaves... Oh, here it is. Is there a ball? Okay, I was just... No! <laughs> what? Why did... I was just wondering if... If you put a ball... I would ne never expect it to... <laughs> okay, this mod is worth it just for this. <laughs> Wait, can I go down with this? Let me go down the streets. I wanna walk through Quadratum with a boat. Nope, looks like... I can't go down. <laughs> well, I just discovered another of Sora's scares. I think he put another hidden stars here. Mm, this would have been a nice place to put another one. I feel like he put another one here. If I go near the vents, oh, okay. Um. Oh, there we go. <laughs> nice. 
This is how you properly explore the world of the future of Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> Where was the Master of Masters standing? I don't know. Probably very far away. I need to add the picture on the side so I could... Mm -hmm. Is there a girl? Wait, I just... Yeah, I want to take a look at darts. You can even go... Wow. Seriously. There's no point for them to making this... Um, these stairs like this. They literally wanted you to to explore this as a proper world. And at the end of it, you would meet Yozora waiting for you, you know. Wait, where is my ball? I, I lost my ball. I think I left it here. There it is. Let's keep going. Let's see if there is... They probably scrapped it because... Um, either they want to keep Quadratum for the next game, or probably for time reasons. Is this the same... Uh, you can see Shinjuku. Wait, in all of this I only found one hidden star. Um... Miguel, are you going to update this with anything you have in your mind? I mean, just anything. Looks like it's pretty much all explorable. Are you considering of adding some extra stuff or something? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know I need to. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, I just read something that Miguel told me on Twitter. There is something, but you need to gather the seven stars. <laughs> Of course you need to. Yeah, why 8 minutes and not 13, 7? Just random numbers. <laughs> I mean, number 8 feels so out of place in the Kingdom Hearts series. We are so much in this that every number, um, with the exception of 7 and 13, feels out of place in the Kingdom Hearts series. Okay, I understand. <laughs> yeah, we're so 
user to find um, hidden meanings behind letters, numbers, and all of that. <laughs> That's what Kingdom Hearts does to us. I, at this point, I'll be waiting for. Um, I'll be waiting for Lucio to release the Yozora uh, mod. You know, exploring Quadradon with Yozora is probably gonna uh, have a, a very nice feeling. Anyway, this is very, very well done. I, I mean, this is just... Um, change of texture I think but that is really really awesome when you made it I mean it really uh, shows how you put so much thought behind it <laughs> I, I can't because Okay, no, nothing. <laughs> Just fly through the dreams. <laughs> I'm here. I'm just touching the star. I won't go back though. I just want to see um, the effects here. So the water remains. This is um, trying to recognize this texture you put here. Um, yeah, I can't... I don't seem to recognize it. That uh, circle at the center seems like... Yeah, I know it's something I already saw, but... Yeah, you know what? Uh, this thing of touching the star and the secret portal appears um, very much resembles um, you know when in the very old games uh, you used to randomly go to a certain place you touch something and then a secret powerful boss appears out of nowhere and you discover that there's that place is hiding a, a secret boss you know you didn't know anything about it and this feels like the same like you know a secret path a secret um, way to reach a proper boss Like, you know, when in the very first Kingdom Hearts title, just to make an example, when you went to the Olympus Coliseum, you see that Platinum Cup out of nowhere, you go there and Sephiroth appears just out of the blue. And yeah, it gives you that feeling of a very, very secret stuff. Nothing important. Yeah, I'm speaking with Miguel on both Twitter and <laughs> Twitch. <laughs> Hopefully someday we'll have more tools to make better mods. Well, you are already... Uh, mods are already making a spectacular job. And I can't imagine what you'll be able to achieve even with better tools. Yeah, I enjoy it a lot. I'm really, really uh, grateful that you let me test it. Um, it really um, shows how much you have grown up as a mother. As I was saying at the, at the beginning of the live stream, <laughs> probably your 
your first steps in the modding um, area of Kingdom Hearts. As far as I remember, they were just texture related. Um, I remember you were the one who made the ring of the Axel 5, which is this. Okay, just a second so that uh, people can understand what I'm talking about. Kingdom Hearts timeline. What was that episode name? Place to belong, I think. Um, I can say I've pretty much uh, been in the modding community of, of Kingdom Hearts since um, since when Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix was released on the PS2. I mean, I wasn't properly there in the community to help or anything. I was just uh, up to date with the mods they were making and back at the time the best you could do was fighting two, three organization members at the same time, disabling the music, putting uh, <laughs> Final Fantasy music uh, as a background and that was it. But 20 years later we <laughs> we ended up exploring a proper city that just shows how much the community has has grown okay I'm not sure if you can see this remember the fight between Shion and Axel I made in the timeline um, the floor here is grass it's the grass you see in front of the Twilight Town Mansion, which is also uh, a bit red because you know it, you are surrounded by fire. And the sky is the Twilight Town one. This is basically the Excel Data Boss fight, but Miguel changed the floor and the sky so it so that I could. Uh, fake it as a second phase of the fight against Axel in front of the mansion. Yeah, this is... Um, this is just one of all of the smallest details we uh, worked when we were making timeline videos. I had the ideas in my mind and I was asking Miguel and the others if they were technically possible to be made into reality. And now, three years later, he made this possible, so... <laughs> Seriously, congratulations and thank you for letting me play this. Um, everyone here, make sure to follow him on Twitter so that you know when he's going to make this public. Hey, you called me Marco. You should be calling me Marquito. How dare you calling me Marco? <laughs> I don't feel the same if you... M and F. <laughs> Oh, okay, just, just tomorrow. Okay, you're probably going to make a YouTube video or put it on Twitter, I don't know. Yeah, Moxat, so get your hands on a computer on, a, on the PC version of Kingdom Hearts 3. So you need to have a complete save file of Kingdom Hearts 3, right? Basically, you need to reach the final world and talk to the nameless star. 
So Moxets, you have just like uh, 10 hours to get Kingdom Hearts 3 on PC, beat it, get to the final world and prepare yourself for <laughs> exploring Quadrado. Thanks, nice to meet you. Thank you Sora for the follow. I'm honored that Sora himself is following me. <laughs> Kingdom Hearts gets more of money. Gets more of your money. Um, okay, I think this is it for now. Uh, for all the other viewers here who are interested in watching me uh, continuing the war ends with you, I'm still finishing that secret day. <laughs> <laughs> finishing that pin, tin pin slammer um, stupid minigame and so how about it um, yeah I need to continue with the war ends with you before uh, Neo gets reset this Tuesday uh, Moxots in the release date is just in 4 or 5 days. 27th. Tin pin shit slam. <laughs> yeah, I'm taking it easy because I want to see... Okay, at this time... I wanted to make the first episode of the timeline with you. I already prepared everything on my computer, I'm just trying to finish with The War Ends With You and then we'll stream the making of the first <laughs> timeline episode. Um, we'll see how long will I get to with the first episodes of the Union Cross saga and then we'll see if at the same time Dark Road releases more story updates. Depending on that, I'll decide how to proceed. Okay, so about the world ends with you, I say we'll continue in 15 minutes by now. I just need to close this and start a different live stream with um, the world ends with you. No, non ti sei perso niente. Supporting Princess. Ok, while Moxatz goes to cook dinner. Sai che hai smettila. <ride> non posso dire certe parolacce perché sono in diretta. No, in realtà non mi rosica tanto che c'è il gioco prima. Perché sto finendo il primo. Quindi se non finisco il primo non posso fare niente per dopo. Quindi in realtà ho le mani impegnate, già con un altro gioco. Grazie mille a te, Miguelito. I'm even saying this in Italian. Grazie mille davvero, apprezzo tantissimo che mi hai fatto provare tra i primi questa mod. <ride> È stato davvero un bel pensiero che hai voluto uh, fare questa specie di teaser per gli altri. I'm speaking in Italian and I don't even know if you're understanding me. <laughs> All right, I need to upload this live stream I'm doing here on YouTube at the end of that video, of this video. I'll be putting a five seconds video that the first vessel wants me to put. So when you watch, uh, when you see me uploading this live stream here on YouTube, you're going to see a special 5 seconds video at the end of it. I don't know, I, I don't know myself what, it, what is it, but um, Miguel told me to just do so. <laughs> so I'm just in the dark as much as you. Buonasera Satria. 
Stavo appunto ringraziando Miguel per avermi fatto provare per primo questa mod di Quadratum e stavamo anche dicendo come sia bello che sia l'inglese che lo spagnolo per il fatto che sono molto simili e di conseguenza sono entrambi dei linguaggi bellissimi a differenza dell'inglese che è brutto perché quando parli in inglese ti impappini, con... cioè non capisci niente vi mangiate le parole l'un l'altro, invece l'italiano e lo spagnolo sono più orecchiabili, sono più belli da ascoltare, quindi... <ride> Hopefully no one in English is translating what I've just said. <ride> I'm just kidding, I just said that Italian and Spanish are much better than English. <ride> I see that Miguel understood. <ride> Oh my god, Satya, why? You shouldn't be doing this. I feel guilty. Just... Um, I always warn on Twitter. Do you have a Twitter? Make a Twitter account. I don't want to see you <laughs> putting alarms just for me. Especially in these days where my life is just so chaotic. I don't even know when I have proper time to make some live stream. And neither of those arms are working. Great. <laughs> yeah, of course there is Moxat who can <laughs> provide you all of the <laughs> my private information. <laughs> so you can count on Moxat if you forget to <laughs> to get on Twitter. Ok, Miguel, grazie ancora tantissimo. Lasciamo stare questi maledetti inglesi. <ride> Io continuerei a parlare in italiano solamente perché voglio vedere Moxatz che cerca di capirmi, in realtà non ci riesce, poverino. Quindi qualsiasi italiano mi stia ascoltando adesso. <ride> mi viene da ridere perché mi dispiace per Moxatz. You said my name, but... <laughs> Grazie a te, Miguel. Ci sentiamo presto. I'll see you soon. Let me know if you need anything else about everything. I'm going to upload this on YouTube, as we agreed on, and... I'll put the video as you told me, and... And yeah, just let me know if you need anything from me. Or if you want me to make another live stream like this, like, you know, um, advertising your stuff, you want to share your thoughts about something in the Mars related, even if you don't feel like talking yourself, I think uh, this kind of setting feels um, about right. I mean, you in the chat, hear me talking, uh, Moxats, modding. Moxats not understanding Italian and Spanish. It looks pretty good to me. <laughs> okay, guys, thank you again for being here. Thanks again, Miguel. As I said before, let me know on Twitter or on Discord whenever you need anything. I'll see you in 10 minutes for those who want to see more. The world ends, the world ends with you. Such a bad name to pronounce every time. See you in a bit. Bye-bye.